What's good, YouTube? I've got kind of a major, major tip for you in this video. We're going to be talking about the bomb concept. We're going to be talking about the best route to bomb any coverage in Madden 22. And it's kind of been the best route to bomb any coverage for years. It's been one of the better routes, one of the most, absolutely one of the most must-have routes in your arsenal. And that is the post route. But we're going to be talking today through the lens of two in particular types of post routes. I'm going to be breaking down my reasoning and explanation as to why I believe that the trips tight end has one minor flaw and that is that it doesn't have this post route. Now if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to this channel. Also if you're new I'd really encourage you to get our Patreon membership. That's where I get uh, I have uh, all my ebooks posted in there. Got over 20 offensive and defensive ebooks. In addition to that, we also update it every single week with new material, new little tweaks on things, new little updates as Madden changes throughout the year. And so, if you want to get access to all of our ebooks and all of our updates and any new ebooks or new updates that we release while your membership is active, be sure to go sign up for the Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. And there's a link in the description below if you want to check that out. Now guys, um, I am super excited to share this video with you because I've been kind of wrestling through this for a long, long time. And I feel like I finally have enough uh, data to be able to show kind of what I'm trying to show. So if you're trying to bomb coverages, the best route in the game, at least in Madden 22, um, is to use a skinny post, okay? So for example, uh, bunch trail out of the gun bunch formation or trips tied in inside cross or just the hot route master uh, skinny post. Those are very powerful uh, concepts. And so I wanted to kind of walk you through um, why the actually the trips tight end flex and formations like the trips tight end flex, which does also count the trio Y flex, which we've got in our Patreon membership, might be just a little bit better to bomb. Specifically, the coverage and the adjustment coverage that a lot of people like to do to stop your bomb, which is cover four drop. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out into play uh, inside cross from trips tight end. I'm gonna show you a couple of bombs concepts. And so what you'll see here is we're not gonna worry too much about bombing cover two. Cover two is fairly simple to bomb. But the first concept we're gonna show you is a streak, a slant route, a post route to the tight end, and then blocking your running back. And what you're gonna see is if they're in a cover three coverage, this right here should bomb them once he passes the face of this the safety as you can see right there he actually played that decently let me show you that one more time you'll notice that the cover three in practice mode i have also noticed a little bit of a discrepancy um, in practice mode being that practice mode for whatever reason seems to play a little bit better um, with some of these deep deep thirds and stuff and it's primarily because brady's arm is kind of a uh, kind of bad so anyways the bottom line is that you see that there is an opening for me to be able to hit this route. Now, the second setup we're gonna show you is a block the tight end setup where we're gonna wheel the running back and we're going to use a slant route. Now, you can use the slant route in one of two ways. You can actually run it like this right here and just simply um, you know, have the slant roll out. This was a very popular bomb when a skate artist was big. As you can see, you're hitting that deep post over the top. Now, the next version of this bomb, I think is actually a little bit better and that is a motion slant. Now, what you gotta be careful with though is that this can obviously trigger a match coverage, but um, the bot, or a, um, yeah, cover three match. But anyways, you can kind of get this here. You get this little double team, get out of the pocket. Brady can't get out of the tank pocket, but you see the post is wide open, of course, classic. New England Patriots have the best defensive line in Madden. I don't know if you knew that, um, especially if you use them exclusively in practice mode. But anyways, let me show you this again. Uh, I'm going to slap a double team on here and wait a little bit and roll out. But basically, again, you'll see here, just double team, roll out, pass like that up. And you see how bad Brady's arm is. Um, but anyways, the bottom line is, like, if, if they're in cover three or cover two, like, you're going to be able to bomb them. There we were actually in cover four. Um, you know what? Just for make it easy on me. No pass rush. <laughs> just to make it easy. Because in practice mode, the practice mode pass rush is insane. But anyways, you'll see pass lead right there. And you see that against cover three. So we're able to beat cover two, cover three. And that's, you know, and there's multiple ways that we can do that, right? We can we can do that with the, the slant, you know, there. We could do that with the slant coming across, and I'll show that real quick. And then we'll get into kind of the other concept I want to talk about in this video. So, and kind of the problem of this bomb. 
So uh, you see here the motion slant. And most people think that this does a really good job against an inside corner. To be honest with you, it does decent. You see right there. I mean, it's open. The pro major problem with this post route, a uh, couple, couple things. So the biggest issue with the post route is that it stops running, as you saw right there. That's one of the major problems um, with that post route. The second issue with that post route is that um, it, for whatever reason, I, and I'm not exactly sure as to reasoning as to why, um, but it seems to me that the trips tight end formation in general, and I think bunch tight end is kind of in that category. Um, it's not as bad. Bunch tight end is probably a little bit better because it's a compression, so the, the post runs over the top a little bit better. But what happens is, again, you're going to see here that if I go to cover for a drop, no matter what bomb I run, it's got a pretty decent chance of being stopped. So I'm going to show you the first one real quick here. And what you'll see is that inside quarter from the safety, he looks like he's dumbed out. And in a month, it's a little bit better because you got faster receivers. And so it's, it, you know, it's a bang, bang. But it, oftentimes it is a bang, bang play. It's not like it's actually, it's not like it's like crazy open. Okay. Um, it's like it's kind of open in mud and you've got deep out of Lee and a better, a better arm to be able to make this throw. You see right here, like I can kind of get it there, but it's really, um, it's one of those things where you can't really miss. You know what I mean? Like um, it's really difficult to miss. And, and this is why most people, when they're defending a bomb concept like this, their first thing that they're gonna try to do is they're gonna try to put an inside quarter on that side of the field because typically the inside quarter will recover just like that. You see how it looks kind of, looks like it's kind of open, but then the inside quarter kind of recovers. And I'll show that out of zone drops in just a second. I'm going to show you a couple of other uh, of the concepts. The first one, and then here's the here's the second one. Especially if they don't press their cover four. But here's the here's the other one. So this is this one right here. And you see if I pass that up, yeah, I kind of possession catch that, but that's a tight throw. And you know you don't want to necessarily make a living doing stuff like that, especially in this year's game with how good the sheds can be. You know they're going to shed you, um, and that's that's where you got to be a little bit. You know again, kind of tread lightly here, but. And then here's the motion wheel. Motion wheel was a little bit better, but you know you see that right there. I mean, he he's able to recover. Okay. Now I wanted to spend just a few minutes talking through zone drops, and then we're going to give you a really really cool uh, bomb that is much much better in my opinion for cover four drop. So uh, flats are just we're just going to do some basic zone drops. It doesn't really matter. We just need that inside quarter to not play in a match concept. So uh, inside cross here. And what you'll see is they're going to run a kind of a cover, cover three, make Mike Blitz three, right? Double Mabel. And then what they'll do on the right side is they'll inside quarter that guy instead of deep half him. Okay. That's very helpful for stopping this first bomb. It's also helpful for stopping the tight end streak. Um, and it's also helpful for stopping the crosser. And so what you'll see here is this is tight but you can kind of hit it um but it is very tight as you can see and then i'll show you another uh, the other bomb and then we'll talk about something that is much much more wide open um which is what i'm about to show you in just a second so again i'm just going to be in cover four or uh, i'm going to auto to mike blitz three whoops maybe let me see covered show there we go all right purple both linebackers There you see there's the coverage so nice little mike blitz three kind of coverage base defense motion this guy over and what you'll see here this was probably a little better because that inside quarter came down so much but you see he's running back to recover like it's not like he's completely dumbed out and that's the biggest thing okay so next thing we're going to talk through is we're going to walk you through how this um additional formation and really this route from PA crossers out of trips tight and flex. And you could find this specific post route in several of like the Trey Y flex and the Trio Y flex and all that stuff. It's in my Trio Y flex ebook. Um, this specific route is really, really important because it's a deeper post route. Now, I'm not gonna get into specifics of like placement of the players. There's also something that's very subtle about this in terms of where the placement is. Obviously the tight end is flexed, but I wanna show you the same route combo which is the slant post, and you'll see this right here. Now this is just a basic cover four drop, and what you should see is because this post route waits to cross the face, 
he gets way deeper and it's almost impossible for that player to come back to him even if he's backed off even if they're hot routing an inside quarter adjustment it's very difficult for their opponent to uh come back underneath the play and i'm going to show you a little trick that i love to do out of these sets that i think is really valuable uh when we're talking about bombing this coverage especially when you have a post route like this but again that's where you can kind of do anything because you see how late he comes and you see deep deep bomb over the top for an absolute laser now even better is a motion that you can do from them and a motion that you can do from this that's going to keep them in a cover four drop so that they can't mabel against your crosser is just simply motioning so you put scott a post and motion him out and the reason why you would do that is because now they have to respect your deep fade on the right side if you were to run pa cross with the, the y crossing setup he would be in a fade so they have to respect the deep fade they can't which means they have to either deep half that safety or if they're inside corner name it has to be cover for a drop both of those situations are going to be like make it likely that there's going to be less of a pass rush and also you see how open this becomes now last little pro tip with this thing you can smart route this post and it will still run deep and it will still run better than your standard hot route master post so if i wanted to you know do that again i'm going to cover for a drop you and again the cool part is even if you wanted to motion this guy in and create a trips tied in you certainly could do that um, but what you'll see is this post waits and look at this right here now that that was a little bit worse that's why i was talking about a little bit about how the tight end's placement because the tight end is flexed in this formation and in tree wide flex and even if he's outside i think it significantly helps the bomb but again if you smart route this post on the right it look or the left it looks like just a standard skinny post it's actually not and and you see right here um you know you see we got a little bit of a worse result but that's the thing is what i'm getting at. it's like the the more depth that you can get with that post i find the better that it's going to do and in trio y flex it's actually even better because that clear out route is on the line of scrimmage which really helps but as you can see this is a little bit more of a surefire way to be able to bomb every coverage in madden um this post route is also the one thing that i will say about this post route is it is better against zone however if you play man let me just show you this bomb against man coverage it's really a route running thing but what you should see here is it doesn't see how it's a lot easier for there to be a natural rub on the route and he's able to get over the top so this is my favorite way to bomb coverages and this is why one of the number one reasons as to why i believe that to play pa crossers is every bit as good as a lot of the money plays on a trip side in because of that post route i think that post route is significantly better than any post route you'll find in a standard trips tight end formation as someone who loves trips tight end it's kind of unfortunate to be honest because it means that we're gonna have to take a look at some of the other concepts and other playbooks and the formations but if you're watching this video and you want to get my full trio y flex i already got an ebook out of that for you trio y flex to me is the closest to trips tight end because it has the quick base it has the rpo zone it has um and then it also has like uh x spot and some of those concepts a lot of the concepts from trips tight end you can find them in that trio y flex i will say with an offense like that i think it's very very much so very important to have hot route master but you guys can decide that up to you you can run it without hot route master the concepts will still work very well but that's the video guys i want to thank you for watching if you want to check out the patreon get all my ebooks there's a link in the description below where you can sign up for just 15 bucks or 10 bucks a month i'm sorry and get you access to everything